Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Bulfat. The Ministry of Interior made a statement in which it affirmed that the Qatari television station Al Jazeera targets the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people through its incitement of hatred and violence and its attempt to undermine its stability, unity and social cohesion. It said that this contradicts the principles of good neighborliness and those of the Gulf Cooperation Council as well as the spirit of Al Ula Summit and its resolutions. The Ministry said that Al Jazeera's latest show comes as a part of a series of attacks against against the kingdom to undermine its reputation in the field of human rights based on fabricated allegations by those who committed terrorist acts and have taken innocent lives, which makes this television station, station a voice for terrorism. The ministry affirms that the kingdom has rehabilitation centers are not interrogation centers, but are places where convicts are reintegrated into society after being convicted in open and fair trials based on conclusive material evidence by an independent judicial authority. It added that Bahrain's record in human rights is full of achievements based on the application of alternative sentences and open prisons. The kingdom is also considered to be among the advanced countries in the field thanks to its hosting a number of institutions such as the National Institute for Human Rights. The ministry said that the alleged events that the Qatari television channel aired date to 2015 and that the timing of airing this material proves it its ulterior motives as it does not seem to be interested in maintaining the stability of the Gulf of or respecting its traditions. The ministry concluded by warning against paying attention to Al Jazeera's fabrications and that the people of Bahrain reject this aggressive attitude towards its unity behind the leadership of His Majesty the King. Under the patronage of the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Royal Command Staff and National Defense College hosted the Master's Degree Distribution Ceremony for the graduates of the National Defense Sessions 1 and 2. The BDF Chief deputized Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan al naimi to distribute the certificates to the graduates of the two sessions. After Quran verses were recited, the Commandant of the Royal Command Man, Staff and National Defense College, Rear Admiral Abdullah Saeed al Mansouri, delivered a speech in which he asserted that since its establishment five decades ago, the BDF has attained educational achievements thanks to the royal vision and directives of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He indicated that the BDF Commander in Chief and Chairman of the College's Supreme Council, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed al Khalifa, has set the Royal College's strategy to implement the visions of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which enabled the Royal College to compete with the most prestigious military colleges in their academic and practical levels. The Defence Minister then presented master's degrees and medals of distinction to the graduates of the first and second national defence sessions. The Minister stressed that the BDF is always keen on supporting the educational process and hailed support of His Majesty the King and the constant follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He also paid tribute to the BDF Commander-in-Chief for putting in place all conditions for developing and modernizing various educational curricula to reach the highest levels. Assistant Chief of Staff for Human Resources, Major General Sheikh Ali bin Rashid Al Khalifa, University of Bahrain President, Professor Riyad Hamza, and a number of senior BDF officers also attended the ceremony.
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs confirmed today that it had sent a note of protest to the Qatari Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The note included the ministry's strong condemnation of a TV program broadcasted by the Qatari channel Al Jazeera, which was entitled Out of Context on Sunday, March the 7th of 2021. The film contained false information and allegations put forward by hired instigators, which Qatar, Gulf and Arab countries all know received their orders from foreign parties with ill intentions towards the kingdom and GCC countries. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs considered this film to be inconsistent with the principles of Al Ula Declaration. The Ministry also expressed Bahrain and its esteemed people's dissatisfaction with the maltreatment that Bahraini fishermen received from Qatari coast guards, which contradicts the human rights principles, stipulated in international conventions, charters, and laws, and threatens the livelihood of Bahraini fishermen. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs stressed that it considers these actions taken by Qatar towards Bahrain is unacceptable as they contradict the principles of good neighborliness and contradicts the principles, provisions and obligations of Al Ula Declaration which must be implemented by all countries that have signed it. The Ministry looks forward to more positive stances and constructive policies from Qatar that would help start bilateral talks, address the pending issues in order to further improve relations between the two countries to preserve the cohesion of the GCC Council and achieve its goals. The President of Foreign Affairs, the Defense and National Security Committee, Mohammed Assisi al Bahrainin, affirmed that Al Jazeera Channel's continuous targeting of Bahrain does not conform with the Gulf compatibility requirements and does not take into account the supreme interest of the countries of the GCC. Assisi added that the media approach that Al Jazeera adopts in addressing the internal affairs of the kingdom requires the Qatari government to take serious measures in order to implement the terms of Al Ula Declaration, to which Bahrain has been committed since the first day by acting swiftly to resolve the outstanding issues between the two countries, while Qatar has not taken any clear measures on activating the terms of the declaration. SCC stated that Bahrain is still showing goodwill through the invitations it has sent to Qatar. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Governor of the Capital Governorate, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, made a field visit to ensure the reduction of population density at laborers' accommodations in line with the national efforts to reduce the spread of COVID-19. For more about this, we are joined by the Capital Governor, His Excellency Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa. Your Excellency, it's an honor to have you here with us tonight. Could you tell us about the efforts of the capital government in ensuring the safety of laborers by recognizing their accommodation. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm proud uh, to be with you tonight and be part of uh, Team Bahrain, uh, led by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Uh, we were uh, entrusted with inspecting the shared workers' accommodation and to r try to reduce uh, the concentration and implementing health and safety measures. And we are proud here uh, at the government. We were able to initiate one of the largest campaigns in Bahrain. Mm -hmm. And we were able uh, in 189 working days to inspect around 1,835 uh, accommodation. Mm -hmm and uh, to implement the safety requir requirements and uh, measures in 1,211, around 66% of these uh, accommodations, uh, buildings, and to reduce uh, the concentration of labor for around 15,365, which uh, represent around 70% of the goal that we put in front of us, uh, around 20,000. Mm -hmm. So it's a big effort uh, on our behalf, and we were proud as well uh, to be praised by the cabinet headed by uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. And uh, we, are, we will continue doing our job to reduce the concentration and ensuring the health and safety of our workers in their accommodations. Mm -hmm. Your Excellency, the Governorate has made many initiatives to raise awareness about the precautionary measures to reduce and hopefully stop the spread of COVID-19. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, we were proud, I mean, to be, uh, to be in the front line from day one. And we were focusing on the humanitarian efforts. I mean, uh, first of thing, uh, thing is we were able to distribute 
food and uh, to more than a, a half a million uh, baskets to the needy, uh, whether uh, local or expats. Uh, through our campaign Together We Care, Awfina uh, Awfi Khair, that has been initiated by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Uh, we were also interested with developing temporary shelters, which we were required at that time. Uh, as well, uh, building, uh, I mean, we were proud with our volunteers. We had more than 250 volunteers, which we, we were, uh, we trained to enable us to disinfect markets and uh, areas that were uh, hit with the spread of the pandemic. As well, the media campaign in many languages to, uh, to ensure the awareness among our workers and laborers. And also we had a good partnership of, with the Ministry of Health in inspecting saloons and barber shops. And we were able to inspect around 400 saloons to ensure that they implement all the required uh, COVID uh, distancing. Uh, and we were also able to dis- distribute masks and assist uh, all the NGOs or uh, embassies with uh, any assistance they required. And we distributed some laptops for the needy to enable them uh, to uh, continue their studies uh, through distance learning. Mm-hmm. Your Excellency Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Following the recommendations presented to the Government Executive Committee, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus today announced a number of decisions to be implemented starting from Sunday, the 14th of March, 2021. The task force, headed by the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, underscored the importance of collective efforts to combat COVID-19 and its variant strain, adding that all decisions and recommendations are periodically reviewed in accordance with the latest COVID-19 data. The task force concluded by reiterating the essential role of the community in supporting Bahrain's national COVID-19 response by continuing to follow all precautionary measures and registering for vaccination. The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments announced that mosques across Bahrain will reopen for all prayers starting today. The decision is based on the opinions of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and the recommendations of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus and following constitutions with the Sunni and Jafari endowments. However, the suspension of the Friday prayers has not been lifted. The ministry stressed the importance of adhering to all precautionary measures, including not to reopen the women's section and not to allow children, the elderly and those with underlying health conditions inside in order to ensure the safety of all and added that decisions would be subject to periodic review based on developments. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 311,829 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 206,072 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,176 with 670 recoveries, 628 registered new cases and two deaths. 252 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 364 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel-related. The deceased were 66 and 52-year-old citizens. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. <laughs> 